In February 2022, when Mr. Baka Vamoa was picked up at the Kotoka International Airport on his arrival from the United Kingdom, the charges leveled against him by the state was that he was attempting to usurp the executive powers of the Republic. In effect, attempting to overthrow President Kufuado. That has been the argument and the charge leveled against him for the past two years. But today in open court, the state attorney led by Denta Yanka, that's the state's senior state attorney, uh, sort of changed the argument. Uh, she put forth that Mr. Baka Vamoa essentially lacks the capacity to undertake a coup and in fact, he is not a violent individual. The case the state is now making is that Mr. Baka Vamoa, his pronouncement and publication on social media was going to rather incite others to take up arms to overthrow President Kufuado. Mr. Baka Vamoa, who was surrounded by his troops, made the case that the ruling by the High Court would not change his course, speaking truth to power. Sure. Now, my words were clear that I would do the coup myself. Now, if I said I would do a coup myself, how am I inciting others to go and do a coup? Like we have always said, this is a coup about mindset. That the Fama Nyami attitude of our people, who have allowed themselves to be oppressed for years, we would end it. And we will do it either alone or together with others. We do not care about their broken politics. And it's only we, the people, who can make that a reality by purposeful organizing, by saying no to power whenever power backs. We will back twice. Whatever power shouts, we will shout twice because our voice and the cause of justice is always louder than those of those who oppress us. Supporters of Mr. Baka Vamoa, including the lead convener of the uh, Dumsoma Stop Vigil, Mr. Dramani, who showed up in court, also made the argument that the continuous trial of this case is nothing but a waste of the meager resources of the state. So that's transpired here today. It's so embarrassing. Embarrassing that you say the person is not violent, the person doesn't have the capacity to usurp the executive authority of this country through force. So why are we here? So that case, in that, on, on the basis of that alone, this case should have been thrown out. It should have been thrown out because the key ingredient in that thing is the violence and the use of force. You say the person doesn't have that, but he was rather inciting people. So the case is a bogus one. This case will not yield anything for this country. It should be dismissed by the judge. The case has since been adjourned to June 3, 2024, when the proper trial is expected to commence now that the case of jurisdiction and the constitutionality of the offence has been dealt with. From the High Court Complex, Latif Idris reporting for Joy News. We are all we are evil, 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 ev